Good morning, Atlanta. This is Carolyn Potlock with Sports Radio 790 The Zone, and it's time for another Weekend Sports Rewind. There was a party on Bourbon Street Sunday night after the Saints disposed of the Vikings in the NFC Championship game. The 31-28 victory marks New Orleans' first trip to the Super Bowl and leaves Brett Favre and the Vikings dreaming of what could have been. While the Saints played well, the game may be remembered for what the Vikings did wrong. The Vikings had six fumbles, a multitude of penalties, and a late interception by Brett Favre that allowed the game to head into overtime where the Saints sealed their victory. By the way, that interception marked the third straight year Favre's season ended with an interception. Naturally, the speculation has already started to swirl over whether or not Brett Favre will retire. I know one thing, I don't care. The J-E-T-S Jets, Jets, Jets are on their way H-O-M-E home after Peyton Manning and the Colts dissected their number one ranked defense en route to a 30-17 victory. So, the Super Bowl 44 matchup is set as the New Orleans Saints will take on the Indianapolis Colts in the biggest game of the year. The game isn't that big according to Mark Cuban as he said this year's NBA All-Star game will make the Super Bowl look like a bar mitzvah. While I don't agree with Cuban about the Super Bowl, he may just be right about the Pro Bowl because nobody wants to play in it. Vince Young and David Gerrard are now pro bowlers since Peyton Manning, Tom Brady, and Phillip Rivers have all passed on the gig. If the NFL doesn't fix the Pro Bowl, it will suffer the same fate as the NFL's London game, which was just canceled for next year. Well guys, what did I learn this weekend? Well, Jim Calhoun has decided to take a leave of absence from the UConn basketball program, citing health reasons. And Allen Iverson will start in the All-Star game despite his extended leave of absence this season. I also learned that Kelly Kulik is really good as she rolled her way into legendary status after becoming the first woman to win a PBA tournament. And that IMG is attempting to start a high school national championship for various sports. Dancing was the highlight of my weekend as I learned that the Russian ice skaters do dances to offend the Aborigine people. And, well, Digger Phelps just does dances to offend himself. Well, guys, that concludes this week's edition of the Weekend Sports Rewind. I'll see you next week.